In time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, but to fail all the same. good YouTube you're in the building with your old uncle Mont bringing you life gains cord cutting information that you can use and be abreast of and this one is a kind of a blow to the underground cord cutting community um, there was a lawsuit that dish threw at a third-party provider that had been using Cody Zim TV and Zim TV got their ass kicked and let's talk about it but first let me put on my plus seven glasses of the sexy as hell, work on skilling up this craft, bringing you guys a more informed YouTube experience, something better to look at. Sponsors of this video, the HD IPTV service that you guys see scrolling across the screen, offering you all those great services for $14 a month. Link in the video description. And for my fellas working on the cuts for the sluts and the ladies trying to get them butts for the mutts, Check out in the video description the two-week diet plan and also the fat burn fingerprint. Have you guys noticed how a lot of your former big YouTubers that did streaming have started doing more videos on um, showing you how tech works, showing you how phones work, changing the way they do their content? I once have told people a long time ago, you've got to be diverse in the content that you do on YouTube because you never know when YouTube or anybody might say, we don't like what you're putting out, you can't do it here, you're not gonna survive. Well, we're seeing that trend hit in cord cutting because y'all know not too long ago, TV add-ons was hit with a lawsuit by Dish and they settled out of court. Well, Zim TV, another one that you could have got as a third-party add-on via Cody, they just lost the lawsuit and the judge ordered them to pay back $650,000 and the ruling was that they had gotten letters over the course of 16 months and ignored them and still kept putting up content. And the judge said, nope, this was content owned by Dish. You took money out of their pocket, now you gotta pay them back. This is probably one of the first big court rulings in America, and they went after somebody that wasn't even American-based. You know, you can break a crime and be living in Istanbul and they'll still go after you. A lot of the big companies, your dishes, your Time Warner cables, all these people for the longest time have put all the blame for why they're losing subscribers all on Cody itself. When we, we all know Cody's not doing anything illegal. Cody's just a storehouse. Cody's just a place where developers go, put their stuff up there. Cody has not done anything illegal and never will, never have. But that was just the easiest person to blame for all the losses that they have seen in subscribers and in their revenue. Now that this president has been put in place, the question is, who's next? Because now that there is a court legal battle that they can point at and say such and such loss and had to pay X amount of dollars, where is this gonna go? Now, this could just be the tip of the iceberg, you know, because these people are mad as hell they're losing money. And, and I know we all can relate that we was getting screwed. We felt like we didn't have choice in the marketplace. We felt like they would just ram down our throat whatever product they wanted to give us, raise the price, and the only people they had to answer to was politicians that they're already paying to be able to be in a position to say they can charge us whatever the hell they want as a monopoly. So. I would say to you all, even though this looks bleak, keep hope alive. You're never going to get rid of people, or I guess I should say developers, or whoever you want to call them, that are going to be finding different ways to utilize technology so that you can get content. We might not be able to talk about it on YouTube, because YouTube might one of these days decide they don't even want you to show you how to get access to anything, which is why YouTubers are having to be more diverse and the content they produce. I want to know what you guys think. What do you see as the future of cord cutting? I also want to know what got you into cord cutting. Was it the price? Was it that you're not using it? Was it the company's charging you too much? What brought you into cord cutting? 
What do you think is going to be the future of cord cutting? And do you think they're going to continue to chase these different developers that are putting stuff up there for you guys to see for free? I mean, I think it's inevitable they're going to keep doing it. I mean, people, when you start blaming Cody and third party add ons for why you're losing customers, that's just peanuts, man. The real reason is price, customer service. If you was charging people something they felt was affordable and you have the, you have the power to do that, you just don't want to do it, damn greedy asses, people might would be more inclined to keep paying for what they're getting. But when it starts costing people the price of a small car to have entertainment access, people are going to go other places to get what they want. And you can call these people whatever you want to call them. We had something in the United States a long time ago called Prohibition where the government said you can't have alcohol and people's like, F that. They start doing moonshine, they start sneaking around getting their alcohol and eventually it became legal. And that's no different from this same thing that we're dealing with right here. People want what they want and if you want to do it in a manner that helps the people, give the people a good price for a good service and they will make it happen. Leave me comments. Let me know what you think is going to go on with all this. Let me know when you start cord cutting, what you're using, and what do you think the future of cord cutting is going to be. And that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Share, share, share my videos as I'm trying to grow my channel because I cover a whole lot of different things on this channel. And they said I can't grow because I'm doing too much. And I'm here to say we're going to keep growing, baby. And until the next sexy as hell video. I'll see you.